Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Technology has been the key to any warfare. Today we could see various types of drones such as lottery munitions, swan drones, attack drones and ISR drones are changing the warfare scenario. Most of these drones are guided by satellite communication. In fact, not only drones but fighter jets and missiles Almost every defense communication relies on satellite communication. So what if the satellites are destroyed? Most of the military hardware will be merely a sitting duck. China has already developed the anti-satellite missile, however, never publicly acknowledged. Back in February 2018, China tested an exo-atmospheric ballistic missile with the potential to be used as an ASAT weapon, the Dong Neng-3 with state media reporting that test was purely defensive. Back in March 2019, India had also tested an anti-satellite weapon during an operation codenamed Mission Shakti. The target of the test was a satellite present in low Earth orbit which was hit with a kinetic kill vehicle. At present, there are four countries namely US, Russia, China and India possessing anti-satellite missiles. So let's consider a hypothetical worst case scenario where Indian satellites are destroyed by its adversary. What's the plan B? This is where DRDO's project VEDA comes into play. It's primarily a road mobile military satellite launch vehicle which is mostly going to be canister based. However, it's not just a launch vehicle but much more than that regarding which we'll be discussing today. VEDA will enable India to launch satellite on demand within very short span of time. These are going to be military satellites deployed for designated role or mission. VEDA also has the capability of launching constellation or swarm of satellites in the lower earth orbit. In situations where India loses its military satellites, it can be easily replenished within short span of time using VEDA. There is also a possibility of nano satellite ejection system which can be incorporated in the payload of VEDA in a clustered configuration. These nanosatellites could be deployed to monitor over a conflict zone or war zone for intelligence gathering in short notice. VEDA can also be used for offensive missions which can take kamikaze mission of destroying enemy's satellite. The VEDA has capability to inject killer nanosatellites into precise orbits for head-on collision to take out hostile satellites. So basically, VEDA is going to be one rocket which can perform multiple roles such as interceptor, anti-satellite missions and military satellite launcher. However, it is not yet clear that this rocket or VEDA satellite launch vehicle will be based on which type of missile. It is speculated that it could be based on either Agni-4 Mk-2 missile capable of attaining flight altitude of 900 km or ASAT missile which is India's anti-satellite missile which is again a modified version of Prithvi defense vehicle MK2 or combination of both. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.